Hello there, welcome. I'm Will from MySpace and we are live from London for yet another MySpace Live video web chat. Um, in a few moments I'll be handing you over to uh, two of Britain's greatest comedy heroes. Um, they're here because this week's actually a very special week for them. Uh, it sees the release of their first co-made film, Cemetery Junction, uh, which is out this week on Wednesday, the uh, 14th of April. Um, but before we start, this is how it works. In the uh, chat below this video, um, you'll see the messages already coming in thick and fast. And you can log in with your MySpace, Twitter, Facebook or AIM login and uh, put any message you like in front of the talent on the couch. So, um, people of the internet, I'd like you to give an especially warm welcome to the one and only Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchants. Hello, MySpacers. I assume they're clapping, going crazy. They're going crazy. They are. Yeah. <laughs> like, like some sort of, that was an applause. That. Like some sort of breakfast crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's I'm enthusiastic, isn't I he? like him. Yeah. I do like him. I like his hair, his little outfit. He's like a little Tim Burton Especially. creature. Do you I know like what I him. He's very trendy. Uh, I didn't think he talked like that. It reminded, I didn't expect that. No, no it, was, it, it reminds me, where is Wally? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know what? I've been losing uh, a bit of weight, and maybe I can get away with horizontal stripes now. Uh, I unlike unlike no, you. that's, that's asking too much. Isn't Apparently, it? they don't make you uh, any wider or thinner horizontal stripes. It's been scientifically proven recently. Oh, that's interesting. Though it's on QI anyway. Not so just a pretty face. Smart I believe guys, Stephen well. Fry. Yeah. 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 Let's crack on with some questions from yes. the fans. Okay. Do I read them? Yeah. Right. Okay. This one's from Alice. Hello, Alice. Hi, Alice. Hello, Alice. Alice says, do you think you'll still work together after making a film? Blimey, she's already negative. <laughs> she's already thinking this is the end of the friendship. I know. Are you going to bother? I, I think this one is aimed more at you, though, because um, I'm, I'm happy to do, you know, work with Steve. Um, it's fun for me. Steve finds it more stressful than me, and I don't know why. Mm. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to uh, air our dirty laundry uh, on the web. Rick, that's for private time. On MySpace. On MySpace. Hello, it's, MySpacers. Hello, MySpace. Don't call it MySpace. It's a little bit it's, it's selfish. Our space. Our space. Let's call, let's rebrand Not it. Not our yeah. space, though. No, our. No. Oh yeah. No. Oh, he said we wasn't swear. Well, he started it. Yeah, he said it first. Yeah. He, he knows what goes on. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, I, the, 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 I think the question really is: is will they make make will they let us make another film? Well, that's, that's it. The problem. We that's don't know the thing. Film. Unless um, people go and see it, we, we, we might be screwed. We we sort of do our own thing. We we always have, and uh, with that comes risk. If if it turns out well, um, then you're a hero. If it turns out badly, it's all your fault, and they don't give you any money to make another one. Um, mm. it's, it's going okay at the moment, so we'll have to see. Uh, our next project is actually a TV project. But don't talk about that, eh? No, talk about that. No, because there's film, we want to talk about the film. Yeah, but they're, they're not going to go, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go and see the film, I'm going to wait a year to sit and watch Some TV. Some of them do. Do they? Some of them have got hardly any cash. These people don't watch television. They try and download it illegally the next day. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen Thursday. Yeah, I've slammed them, haven't I? <laughs> no, so these, these people, they've bothered to log on here. It means they're fans. They're, they're going to support. They, they know they've got to support the British film industry or there'll be no more films. Good one. Is this film about you, says uh, Helen? Uh, well, everything you do is sort of autobiographical. I mean, The Office and extras, that's, that's, that's from, from real life. This is probably the most personal film, certainly for me. There's nothing more personal than, you know, the place where you sort of grew up and your family, and it's all in there. And it's our, it's our um, uh, romanticised memory of, of childhood, uh, I suppose. We haven't made a, a, a really gritty, depressing um, kitchen sink slash your wrist sort of... Um, British drama. Uh, it's it's more Hollywood does seventies England really. Um, Although a lot of uh, you say seventies England, Rick, and it is set in the seventies. But a lot of you know your your my spaces, yeah, our spaces. A lot of them are quite probably younger. They're saying, Rick, this film's not for me. It's set in the seventies. I wasn't born until oh. nineteen ninety four. Oh, Steve, Steve, they are so <laughs> mistaken. They're so mistaken because you know what? To me, the attitude of the youth never changes. <laughs> yeah, doesn't matter where you was born. <laughs> what time? It's always, let's get out of here. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And that's what it's about. It's about stifled ambition and escape. And um, I think that, that comes up, uh, yeah, really, where, wherever you're born and um, whatever area you're born in, that, 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 you know, that, that those big themes about freedom and making the most of your life. Everything we've done as well has got that sort of stifled ambition, existential feel to it, the office, extras. Um, uh, you know, what else is there really? And also, when you're making a film, we didn't want it to just be a zany knockabout comedy with two blokes, you know, off the telly. I think you can, you can do films like that for the telly, or, or, you know. I think this has got to be, a feature film's got to take you on a real emotional journey and it's got to have a 
beginning, middle and end. And um, I, I think you've got to feel you've gone through something uh, with a movie. Which is why some people have been surprised that this is a bit more of a, a, of a drama than the previous stuff we've done. It's not, if people are expecting a sitcom on the big screen, then that's not what we've done. Hopefully, we've described it as a sort of feel good drama. There's laughs, Rick, if you're a fan oh, of there's, laughs. Oh, there's laughs. But there's, uh, laughs. But there's tears. Oh, <laughs> there's, there's romance, there's punching, fighting for the lads, drinking, dancing. Yeah. And uh, just a little dose of this guy, Ricky Gervais. All right. <laughs> but, no, but just a small just, dose. If you hate me, if you don't, if you, if you logged on because you hate me, because some people do. A lot of people hate him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of yeah. Uh, um, uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah. Uh, there's just there's just enough for you to go. Oh, oh, he was he was brilliant. Mm. Or thank God there wasn't enough more of him because he turned my stomach. So. There's actually a lot of uh, a lot of people on in He's the. Back. Uh, He's back. Yeah, really? like Hello. You're right. Uh, a lot of people. I'd like to see him on a little skateboard. I'd love to see that. Wouldn't you? Uh, with a, maybe uh, running a mock in a in a in, in a, a supermarket yeah. or a shopping yeah. mall. <laughs> was, oh, it's him again. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> where's my sausages? <laughs> uh, yeah, the naughty boys in the Beano generally wore black and white. Yeah, absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. That was to save money, probably. That's more like a MySpace skateboard special, though. Yeah. Let's not worry about <laughs> yeah. that today. Let's not try and do it. Either. <laughs> Um, yeah, and we've got Melissa, uh, who's presumably in America, asking, is Cemetery Junction going to be released in the US? Uh, yeah, we don't, we don't know yet, though. I mean, it's right that this is coming out first in England and for England. It's a, it, it's, um, you know, a very British movie. But, but it's a universal story. Well, it is, but I think people were surprised that The Office was shown around the world and in America and the remakes, because on the face of it, that was really quintessentially English. And parochial, but it's not actually. The, there were huge themes in the office about you know boy meets girl. That was sort of a rarity, I think, then um, in British sitcom. Um, and uh, you know, a decent job of work, making a difference. And these themes are universal. You know, parents growing up, moving away, trying to make something of your life. Rock so. and roll. Oh, rock and roll. I've got a question. That's from what the, we do best. I've got a question from the live chat from Hobob. Oh, Bob. How are you, mate? <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's the Bobler. <laughs> oh, what is he up to? Listen here. Okay. Bobler. He, he, right. says, he says, Gervais returns to form, says Shortlist. When did you lose form? Good. Good one, Bubbles. Yeah. Yeah, what do they mean? Well, you know what? Everything you do, people are going to... Um, hopefully, if you're doing something of worth and you're not doing something that's been done a thousand times before and it's not anodyne and safe and watered down and trying to be popular for the sake of it, as many people are going to hate it as love it. And I wouldn't have it any other way. There are going to be people, there are going to be people who think it's the worst thing I've done. Some people think it's the best thing we've done. It doesn't matter because we, we make this, first and foremost, for us really, we've only ever done things that we wanted to watch that we're absolutely happy with. We're hoping and the MySpaces enjoy it. Oh, listen, Steve, I hope the bobbler loves this film. <laughs> I know, I know. Right? Agree. But if he doesn't, I, I don't ever want to hear from the bobbler again. No, it's a shame. It's a shame because Bob, we got off on such a good film. I know, and now, he's, and now he's, he's already criticising us. He didn't Unbelievable. like the film. Oh, we'll no, go and see it again. Oh, we don't. No, he no. loves it. Uh, what advice, Rick, would you give to an aspiring writer in Britain today? Adam's asked that question. Um, what would you say to Adam? Maybe he's an aspiring writer. I don't know. I, I, I try and say, take control. Don't just write a script and hand it over because I think you'll be depressed if it doesn't turn out how you like it. This is your vision. If you're writing it, this is your baby, this is your creation. I realise that the only reason uh, you know, we direct and, and produce uh, is probably to protect the writing. That's the DNA of the piece. And the rest is sort of bringing up baby. And I say, don't rush. Write about things you know about. Write something that's really personal to you. Um, like James Cameron with Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, there was loads of little blue things in his garden. He thought, one day I'm going to put that in a film. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but also um, one of the great things uh, about sort of, and I wish I had this when I was younger, is that modern technology means that you can get a camera and you can get editing equipment so easily now that if you have written something and you can get a bunch of people together and perform it, act it, make an example of it. Because what, one thing we we were lucky was that we were able to film our original idea for the office and bring it to life because it would have been very hard to write in a script. Ricky looks at the camera this will be funny. Yeah. But the fact that we were able to actually film it and show it to people um, really helped. So I always, I always think that's a good idea. you can just film your cat falling off, off a sofa and <laughs> I get two million hits on YouTube. <laughs> exactly, so whatever you fancy. Uh, I've got David on the live chat. He's on, saying, Dave. Steve, he's obviously on good terms with you. 